So here we have two tripods that I think are absolutely worth buying. The small Pixie Evo 2 by Manfrotto and the big IT15 by Benro, which is also a monopod. I've been using these tripods for more than a year now and in this video I'll be sharing my views on both of them and we'll be taking a look at both of these tripods in detail. So stay tuned till the end of this video to find out if any of these should be your next tripod. Let's take a look at the smaller one first, Pixie Evo 2 by Manfrotto. First off, this mini tripod is developed for entry level DSLRs and supports a wide range of devices up to 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds. So if you're looking for a mini tripod that allows more weight then this tripod is probably not for you. This tripod is quite sturdy since both of its sections, the legs as well as the ball head, are made up of aluminum with outer covering made up of good quality plastic. The base of the legs are made up of a similar material but more rugged in order to maintain stability on slippery surfaces. Speaking of which, this tripod can be used on flat as well as uneven surfaces and it's extremely lightweight weighing only 260 grams. All three legs come with extension buttons to increase or decrease the tripod's height. These extension buttons have a total of 5 locking positions on the inside that allow a minimum height of 6.5 inches and a maximum height of around 8 inches. This tripod also has an angle adjustment option complete with a sliding selector comprising of two leg angles, the regular leg angle and the low profile leg angle. The low profile leg angle allows a minimum height of 4 inches and a maximum height of around 5 inches. This angle is extremely useful when capturing images that are very close to the ground or for taking pictures and recordings in portrait mode using the provided right angle. Talking about the top section now, it comes with a quarter inch screw and the area surrounding the screw is similar to the rugged feet of the three legs. The screw can be mounted to a device such as a DSLR or this attachment which makes it possible to mount your phone. The screw can be tightened or loosened using this rotating wheel and makes it very easy to mount the camera. This ball head locking mechanism allows you to capture pictures or videos both in landscape mode and portrait mode. Rotate left to loosen it and right to tighten it. Very convenient to use. This tripod remains stable both in regular angle as well as the low profile angle. It's absolutely perfect for vloggers who like to hold the tripod while capturing content. With the legs extended, it provides a very practical camera grip. And with the ball head tilted, it becomes a very handy selfie stick. It is also very compact and can be folded and packed away easily while traveling. It comes in three colors, black, white and red. So all in all, this is a perfect mini tripod that comes at an affordable price of around 4000 rupees at the time this video is made and can be considered buying. You can check out all the purchase links in the description below. If you consider buying this or any other products from my links, then it'll definitely help me out by receiving a small commission from your purchase. Before we move on to the big tripod, if you are enjoying this video so far, then go on and hit that like button so that it keeps me motivated in the process. And do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon as well to help my channel grow. All right. Time for the big one now, the IT15 by Benro. To start off, this travel tripod can carry a maximum load of 4 kilograms or 8.8 .8 pounds. If you are looking for a travel tripod that allows more weight, then this tripod is not for you. It weighs 1.26 kilograms or 2.8 pounds and comes with a good quality carrying bag which is nice to have while traveling. Once its legs are folded 180 degrees, it becomes as long as 39.5 centimeters or 15.6 inches. It is made up mostly of aluminum with rubber feet for a great grip on any type of surface be it flat or uneven, plastic flip lock levers as well as metallic leg angle adjustment locks on each leg. One of the legs here has a closed cell foam grip which can be converted into a monopod which we will look into later on. The flip lock levers come with 4 adjustment options while the leg angle adjustment locks come with 3 positions. The flip lock levers are used to adjust the desired length of the legs by sliding in and out to increase or decrease the height of the tripod, while the leg angle adjustment locks are used to adjust the desired angle of the tripod simply by pushing in to lock or pulling out to unlock. Adjustments on all the three legs can vary depending upon the requirement while capturing the shots. Once completely extended, the maximum height achieved is 1 meter and 47 and a half centimeters or 58.1 inches. We can raise or lower the center column simply by turning the center column locking collar counterclockwise, set the column to the desired position, and finally turning it back clockwise. At the bottom of this center column there is a retractable weight hook which can be used to hang something like a camera bag to keep the tripod planted. This center column by the way is reversible which comes in very handy for close-up photography and for capturing difficult to reach objects. In order to reverse it, 
we just need to unscrew the retractable weight hook, loosen the center column locking collar, pull the center column out, insert it upside down and tighten up everything once desired height is achieved. Coming back to the monopod, in order to convert this tripod into a monopod, first we need to unscrew the retractable weight hook, loosen the center column locking collar, pull the center column out, next we need to unscrew the single tripod leg, the one with the foam grip and screw it to the center column. The monopod has a maximum height of 152.5 cm or 5 feet to be exact. You can use it as a really long selfie stick though it is not advisable. Looking at the top of the tripod now, there are two levels of security that this quick release lock offers. The quick release plate or the QR plate can be removed by first turning the QR locking knob counterclockwise which then allows the QR plate to slide on the mounting platform for proper balance and positioning. This is the first level of security as the camera is not free yet. In order to free the camera, we need to pull the QR locking knob a bit and turn it counterclockwise for the second time. This will allow the QR plate to be tilted out and removed and you can finally unscrew the camera like this. The good thing about this release plate is that it lets me swap batteries or even the memory card of my DSLR without having to remove it unlike some other brands tripods out there. It includes a bubble level which is useful when you want to level the mounted camera without having to level the tripod first. Very convenient. And finally, it has a head locking lever which is used to lock the ball head in the desired place. Turn counterclockwise to loosen it and you can move the ball head freely and make the necessary adjustments. Very easy to use and is really smooth. This tripod comes at a price of around 7500 rupees at the time this video is made. I wouldn't say it is the best travel tripod, however it is a great and practical option that you can consider buying. Since I've been using it for more than a year, I'm unable to see any wear and tear as such and it does the job as described. Needless to say, I'm a satisfied customer here. If you do consider buying this tripod then you can find the link in the description. This completes my review of both the tripods. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comment section below which tripod you are using currently. Until next time, stay safe and take care.